In this video, we are going to discuss about specific to general direction method to find version space. Here the another example is to find a version space related to the concept wall. In this video, we are going to discuss about finding the version space for learning the concept wall. Here we are provided with a training set having six instances. Among the six instances, three are positive examples and three, three are negative examples. Here the attributes given are size, color and shape. Size can, have, size can take values small, large and color can take values red, white and blue. Shape can take values bowl, cube and brick. Here each instance can be represented as a tuple of three attributes, size, color and shape. In this problem, we want to find a concept that is going that, that can describe the concept bowl. Let's recap the algorithm to find a specific to general method. Initially, we are starting from the empty specific set. And on seeing each positive example, we want to check whether this hypothesis can accept the positive instance. And for each negative example, we have to check whether our hypothesis reject this negative example. Now, let us consider the first training instance, small red ball, which is positive. Now what we have to do, we have to check whether we can accept this positive instance using our hypothesis. We cannot accept. In that, what we have to do, we have to modify our hypothesis such a way that hypothesis accept this positive example. So we have made our hypothesis our small red ball. Now the current hypothesis is small red ball. And iterating over the training set, we have encountered the next instance as positive. Now we have to check whether our hypothesis accept this positive instance too. Small, small matching, white, blue, doesn't match, ball, ball matches. So either red or white in value for color is positive example. So we have to generalize this color attribute. For that, we have given a variable y. Now the hypothesis is small y ball. Now again, iterating over the training set, we have seen a positive example which is large blue ball. Now we have to check with this with our current hypothesis small blue small y ball. Now, this large and small is not getting matched. This blue and y, y, can y is a variable and y can accept any value. So, it is okay. And another, va another value is ball that is also accepted by our current hypothesis. So, we have to generalize the attribute size. For that, we can give some variable that is x. The current hypothesis is x, y, small. Iterating over the training instances, we have seen next training instance as negative instance. Now we have to check whether using our hypothesis, we are able to reject this negative instance. So let us check x and small. Any value is acceptable. y and red. Any value is acceptable. Ball and cube that is rejected. So, our hypothesis reject this negative example. Going forward, we have again encountered with two more negative instances 5 and 6. Using our current hypothesis, the, those two negative instances are clearly rejected by our current hypothesis. And finally, we go to hypothesis as x, y, ball, which is able to accept all positive instances and able to reject all negative instances. 
let's conclude the whole process discussed till initially we are starting from the s on seeing the positive example we are getting like we are changing your hypothesis as like this again a positive example again changed our hypothesis as small y pole and again a positive instance and, in, and at the end we got x y ball and on seeing the whole negative instances our hypothesis clearly reject the whole negative instances